Welcome to my channel. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and join the family. We are growing. I am excited. Yeah. So, and if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the mood of not feeling good enough. You know, in life, we have all these qualifying factors. When we want to apply for a job, there are qualifications we have to meet. When we want to get into a school, there are qualifications we have to meet. Even when we want to date, you know, when we want to start dating or looking for a spouse or whatever it is, there are qualifications we have to meet and we're always demanded to meet them. Like now I have to meet up to this expectation. I have to do better. I have to be better. And um, I think that has somewhat affected us in our process of thinking about how we are to live our lives, especially as Christians. So I feel like as humans, I think it's pretty natural to come to a place where you just feel inadequate. I think that it's really natural to come to a place where you just feel like you're not good enough, you're not qualified, you don't have what it takes, you don't meet up to the standards. And honestly, truly, Sometimes that's actually true. Sometimes we may not have enough money. Sometimes we may not have the best physique or the best um, whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, I think that one thing we have to always remember is that we don't qualify ourselves. God does. And I think that when we put the pressure of I'm not good enough based off of our own works and our own, you know, life and what we can do as human beings, of course we're going to slip into that hole. But if we always remember to just turn it back to God and turn it back to Christ and say, man, through Christ I am qualified. Through Christ I am good enough because He is the one who strains me. He is the one who gives me joy. He is the one who gives me peace. He is the one who can move mountains on my behalf so it's like when we feel that I'm not good enough spirit or I'm not good enough emotion or I'm not good enough thoughts coming upon us we have to learn how to fight that with truth which is that yes on my own I may not qualify I mean truth of the matter is that I didn't create myself and I can only do so much in my own strength but with God I do qualify but with God I am enough but with God I am strong enough but with God I can make it through and I can do what he's called me to do according to his purpose we kind of find ourselves in that place and I think if we let ourselves stay there for long enough it can turn into a form of disbelief because when we say I'm not good enough and we leave it there we're kind of saying that God can't use me God can't you know work through me God can't use my voice to do anything God can't use my work to do anything and that's like almost silencing God in your life it's almost just saying like oh you can't use me um, you can't work with me I don't mean up to anything but it's like no if you truly believe that man like by myself of course I'm wretched I'm a sinner I'm broken and I need a good God to truly work through me and to help me carry out what he has called me to do in life to succeed to be qualified then I think that that helps position us better and it helps give us a more positive and a more hopeful mindset instead of beating ourselves up I personally will be very open and vulnerable with you guys and let you know that man I do go through those seasons where I'm just like I'm not good enough and it's so self-focused it's so self-seeking like I'm not good enough and I literally forget about God I forget about what Christ did on the cross and I sit there I'm just like I'm not good enough I'm not good enough and it takes a while for me to realize that first of all this life isn't even about me it's not about me um, second of all it's not I but God literally like whatever I do all to the glory of God if you've learned from me if you've been poured into if you've been inspired if you've been encouraged by my life it's not I but God and I think that when we place ourselves in the center and not Christ in the center we can somewhat get the roles mixed up and that happens more than often that we like because we're human we want to take the spotlight we want to be in the middle look at me I can do this ha hoo -hoo. <laughs> but you know what I mean we want to be in the spotlight of attention and it's like that's cool but what happens whenever you can't handle the spotlight anymore what happens whenever you don't feel like you're good enough to handle the spotlight what happens whenever the spotlight 
turns you to, into a target for critique. What happens whenever the spotlight turns you into a compromising Christian or whatever it could be. It's so important to make sure we're keeping God first in all that we do, in all that we want to pursue. And for a quick reminder, even in the Bible, there are so many people that were not qualified. Rahab was a prostitute. Solomon was wise, but he had a pretty, pretty not so good lifestyle jonah ran from god he feared he feared the plan that god had for him so he ran he was like i ain't going there i'm not going to preach and then when we think about the story of david and goliath it's like how could this small boy use a whole stone to knock on a giant and when you think about that you say oh wow like it has to have only been through god that he would have been able to conquer goliath goliath was recorded to be this huge giant and david this little boy like like, I want to say he was in his mid mid teen years just his little boy even whenever he's described or whenever you think about how he was treated in the Bible he was more so the shepherd boy he just kind of took care of the sheep and like shielded them from the wolves and everything but he wasn't like some macho guns loving the beaches that way kind of dude he was definitely a average boy but God took what would have disqualified him and used it to qualify him for defeating a giant for defeating an obstacle for proving and showing God's glory so let God use your lack let God use what you think would disqualify you it may be money it may be um, utilities it may be maybe you think you're not you're not a good speaker Moses wasn't a good speaker Moses was a stammerer but God said no I want to use that I want to use you for my glory not for your personal glory but for mine let others see that you have a God that can use you that can speak through you and that's where the glory goes to God and not us so I think that the next time we kind of feel this funk and the next time we kind of feel this way and personally for me as well I'm going to remind myself like yes like on my own in my own merits by my own works I am not capable but with God I am God can do the impossible God can use us God can work through us and it's just all a matter of surrendering to him and saying God what do you want me to do with my life what plans do you have for me how do you want me to submit to you how do you want me to love you how do you want me to love others and I feel like I said before it's not self-seeking it can't be all in your name it can't be all for you you know we have to constantly go back to God and ask him to pour into to us what he truly wants us to do and not being kind of carried away by our selfish desires and things that aren't really aligning with his purpose for our lives I think it's so important to always go back and double check with God hey God you know is this what you want from me this is what I should be doing I want to use this video to encourage you I pray that you were encouraged by listening to this video I pray that you will not sink into this this pit this quicksand of feeling that you are just not good enough but that you are good enough with God and that you hold on to that truth because it is the truth if you've been encouraged make sure you share it with a friend share it with someone you can like comment below let me know if you kind of experienced this am I crazy like am I the only one that goes through this like let me know make sure you subscribe like this video comment and I will see you guys in my next video bye